Hi, I wanted to do one last video on the traditions that we have in Advent or Christmas, particularly here in the church. And one of those traditions you see right over my shoulder, that's the tradition of decorating with poinsettias. And I wanted to give a little background into where they originate from, as well as the legend of the poinsettia. So the poinsettia plants are native to Central America. They are not native to this area or region at all, particularly Southern Mexico. Um, and they flower during the winter, which is how they come into use during this time of the year. The poinsettia was made widely known because of a man uh, named Joel Roberts Quonset. That's why we call them poinsettias. He was the first ambassador from the U.S. to Mexico in 1825. Now, Poinsett had some greenhouses on his plantations in South Carolina, and while visiting the Taxco area in southern Mexico where the plant originates from, in 1828, he became very interested in the plants. He sent some plants back to his home in South Carolina where he began growing the plants and sending them to friends and to botanical gardens. Now, one of the friends he sent plants to was John Bantram of Philadelphia. At the first Philadelphia flower show, Robert Bust, a plants man from the Pennsylvania area, saw the flower and he was probably the first person to have sold the poinsettia under their botanical or Latin name, um, which is Euphorbia pulcherima, which means the most beautiful euphorbia. They were first sold as cut flowers though, not as whole plants like what we use now in the sanctuary and in our worship spaces. It's only in the 1900s that they began being sold as whole plants for landscaping and for potted plants. The Eck family from Southern California were one of, if not the first, to sell them as whole plants like we do now, and they're still the main producer of the plants in the United States of America. It is thought that they became known as poinsettia in the mid-1830s when people found out who had first brought them to America from Mexico. Now, there's an old legend about poinsettias and Christmas and how they come together. And the legend of the poinsettia goes somewhat like this. There was once a poor Mexican girl called Pepita who had no presents to give the baby Jesus at Christmas Eve services. As Pepita walked to the chapel, sadly, her cousin Pedro tried to cheer her up. Pepita, he said, I'm sure that even the smallest gift given by someone who loves him will make Jesus happy. Pepita, Pepita didn't know what she could give, so she picked a small handful of weeds from the roadside and made them into a small bouquet. She felt embarrassed because she could only give this small present to Jesus. As she walked through the chapel to the altar, she remembered what Pedro had said. She began to feel better, knelt down, and put the bouquet at the bottom of the nativity scene. Suddenly, the bouquet of weeds burst into bright red flowers, and everyone who saw them were sure they had seen a miracle. From that day on, the bright red flowers were known as the Flores de Noche Bueno, or Flowers of the Holy Night. The shape of the poinsettia flower and the leaves are sometimes thought as a symbol of the Star of Bethlehem, which led the wise men to Jesus. The red-colored leaves, or poinsettia, symbolize the blood of Christ, while the white poinsettia and leaves represent his purity. So now you know a little more of the history as well as the legend of the poinsettia. Look forward to worshiping with you all on Christmas Eve this year, where we bring many of these histories and traditions to life together, holding the light of Christ, lighting the last of the candles on the Advent wreath, beautified in the decorations of the weeds that came to flower and still flower here in our sanctuary. Eight o'clock Christmas Eve. Look forward to seeing you then, whether online or in person. God bless you.